Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video. Uh, on Doge first, your daily updates. And right now we're actually in profits. All right. So, so for those of you who've been, who've been commenting scam uh, in the comments, I understand. All right. These pre-sales are quite scammy. All right. And and there uh, and and there's a lot of scams around them, impersonations, etc. Um, but so far, it's profitable. Now, do I think that will stay this way? I'm not sure, all right? If you look at Doge first right now, look, we saw some major buys coming in, right? Uh, yesterday, especially. And right now you can see the volume is getting towards $6 million. We have good liquidity on Ethereum because I always analyze the, the coin on Ethereum. There it has the highest liquidity right now. Um, so that's all great. The thing is, is that I'm not sure if we can keep up this bullish momentum. Uh, because we we failed the wick right so we made a wick right here at um 4200 when we when we launched or at the day of the launch we failed that that's normally a very strong resistance level so it's normal that we actually uh, gain gain resistance from that and that's also what what we've done so far but then earlier this morning and that's kind of where the confusion for me at least uh, uh, kicks in we got a very bullish reaction initially, all right? So if we zoom into the 30 minute time frame, maybe we were, were able to see a little bit more. Um, you can see a very bullish reaction initially. So we have a dump, but then we recover like 75%, more than 75% of the dump uh, in a very short period of time. So that's good. Usually if you get some sort of a V shape like that, that's a, a good sign. But then over the course of the last four hours or, or the last two and a half or something, um, we've actually dropped back down like 50% of the recovery. So that's bullish and bearish confirmations. I think in general, and we already talked about that yesterday, I expected a rally a little bit later next week. So the fact that we're already rel relatively bullish right now, and that we're gaining that momentum, I think that's good. The fact that we were also relatively strong earlier after the launch of Thursday, Friday, I think that's good as well. Uh, but now we just need to get some more confirmation. It looks to me like the m most important support level um, is this level right here. So that's around the major support level of, uh, of 3000, which is a big psychological level, of course. So what I would say is wait for some confirmation. All right. If you if, if, if you haven't bought this coin, I wouldn't buy it right now. Um, because, like I said, we're, we're, we're getting very ambiguous, ambiguous, or we're getting very mixed signals from the coin right now. Um, so I would wait until how we react to this level around 3000. If we can get some sort of a, a strong reaction from that, all right? So if we find strong support from 3000 and, and get back above 3500, then I think we'll, we'll stay bullish. We'll get back up to 4000. We might not break out, but then at least that, that reaction is good enough for a consolidation here. And the consolidation here, I think, is good enough for some sort of a breakout later and a, and, and a continuation up to 5,000. Um, so that's what we want to see. But we do have to wait for that confirmation because if we drop down to 3,000 right now, which sh should actually provide quite a lot of support, and we don't get that support, that's a bearish confirmation. And then I think it's more likely that for the next two, three days at least, we'll continue to drop down. Uh, below 3000 back down towards uh, 2500 right here and that will consolidate somewhere down here um so i'll keep you updated on this also in the in the telegram group we have on the pre-sales where we're quite active about it right there um so consider joining that if you're if you're interested in uh, in more daily updates on the on dogeverse but for now those are my thoughts and if i would have to say whether i would be more bullish or bearish here i would say bullish but like i said and not very convinced yet. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.